What is up guys, Nick here. So a couple months ago, I was actually out metal detecting and I found something pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. All right, let's see. Oh, guys, there's something in there. Wonder what it is. It might be iron, but. Oh, no way. Guys, man, I just put the pinpointer in there and I just popped out a little cuff button. Wow. So guys, here is what I found, and what it actually is, is a button from about 170 years ago. Alright guys, so as you can see on this button, there's an eagle, and in the middle, there is an A. So guys, basically the A stands for artillery, and at this fort I was metal detecting at, the second U.S. artillery was stationed there from 1850 to 1858. So guys, as you saw, this button is still pretty crusty, and I've tried some methods to clean it so far, and none of them have actually worked. So guys, today I figured we would use some of that acid that we've used in previous videos uh, to clean some of my other things to use on that button and hopefully we'll clean it up. Usually I like to keep the original patina on the buttons I find, but in this case you can see the button is already pretty far gone uh, due to that crustacean. I think if we do get the stuff off, there will be some uh, weird coloring on a button, hopefully not. Uh, but that is my only fear with this so far. So guys, I'm actually kind of nervous to do this one because I really don't like to damage um, some of the old buttons I find because these things are pretty rare um, in a grand scheme of things. But in any case, guys, this button is already pretty far gone, so I don't think there's a lot of damage we could do to it um, to hurt it further. But without further ado, guys, let's gear up, go outside, and uh, try to clean this thing up with that acid. Alright guys, so here's some of the gear we will be using today. So first, we got the muriatic acid that we will be soaking the button in. Um, and today, I will be using a glove for the hand that I will be dropping the button in. And also, I will be wearing these safety glasses um, in case acid splashes near my eyes. Alright guys, so as you can see, I just poured some of the acid in that little container there. So here's the button right here. I'm not too sure how long to keep it in there, but uh, we'll just see how much it bubbles up. All right, guys, so here's the button right here and here's the acid. So without further ado, let's put it in. Look at that. It just instantly bubbled up like that. And you can see all the crust coming off already. All right, guys, so as you just saw, the bubbling has already stopped. So I think it got most of the stuff that it will get off already. So right now, guys, I'm gonna take it out and let's see how well it did. All right, guys, so I just washed it off in the sink and as you guys can see, it actually worked really well. I thought it would turn into a bright red color, but it actually turned it back to its nice dark brown color, which is very shocking to me. And it actually got all that crust off um, around the edges. Let me get this thing in better light for you guys, but so far I'm very pleased with uh, how it turned out so far. That's actually kind of crazy. So guys, this is a really cool piece of history to be able to have, and I'm glad we were able to kind of get it in a better shape than it was before. Um, you could definitely see there was an improvement and I'm just gonna try to figure out now how we could kind of make the patina better if we can. Uh, but right now, I would say that's an absolute win in terms of cleaning it. So now I'm gonna use this stuff called Barkeeper's Friend and uh, we're hopefully gonna be able to turn this patina a better color. All right, guys, to be honest with you, I was about to end the video after we just dipped it in that muriatic acid and it turned that nice dark color, but I just used that barkeeper's friend and look at this thing, man. It kind of gave it a nice uh, shiny outline on the eagle, and I think that looks super cool, guys. Wow. I'm super glad, guys, we were able to get all the encrustation off of this with the acid, though. That was very cool, and I think this was a very, very successful clean of this button. So guys, I'm actually very, very happy with these results of this button. I'm actually shocked that it actually turned out this well. But comment down below, guys, if you think it looks good and I did enough to it or if I should have done something else to clean it up. 
So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Comment down below what I should do next and if you think this button turned out good. I think it turned out pretty good, but I'd love to hear what else you guys think. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. See ya.